Hello, my name is Henry R. Mockingbird, your host with the mustache. And today I'm going to do the remake of Rio Rita starring Abbott and Costello. So let's dive in. The 1942 Rio Rita is about Abbott and Costello and a radio singer stopping Nazi spies in a Texas border town. So, what do I think of this movie? Well, I'll tell you. Well, I like it. It may be better than the original Rio Rita. If you've seen my Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein review, you probably know that I'm a huge fan of Abbott and Costello. And one thing I didn't mention in that review was that there were big names for Universal. The film, Rio Rita, was the first film in three movies they made at MGM Studios. And I know what you're thinking. If they were big with Universal, how did they get to make three films with MGM. Well... There's a good reason. MGM had signed up Abbott and Costello for a film called Ziegfeld Girls, but Universal, which was a small company at the time, offered them starring roles. So they pretty much walked out on MGM, and that made them angry. And with the success of films like Buck Privates and In the Navy, only made MGM even more angry. So Universal made a truce and loaned them for this film. There are a few good moments, like when Costello is stuck in a washer machine and Abbott can't get him out, or when Costello is on the top of a car spinning around. Let's talk about a few of the characters. First, there's Rita, who has a beautiful singing voice and finds her childhood sweetheart, Ricardo. Rita is played by Catherine Grayson, who is also in The Showboat, Anchors Away, Kiss Me Kate, and Andy Hardy's private secretary. And then there's Ricardo, who starts out the film as sort of a playboy. But as the film goes on, he becomes more mature and more adult. Ricky is played by John Carl, who was also in Zorro Rides Again, as well as Out West, co-starring alongside the Marx Brothers. One big change this has over the remake is the villains. In the original, the villains are bandits. In the remake, they're Nazi spies. The film was directed by S. Sullivan Simmons, who also produced Born Is Yesterday, as well as direct Son of Lassie, Grand Central Murder, and Abbott and Costello in Hollywood. I talked about most of the ups of the film. What are the downs of the film? Well, there aren't any. Well, tune in next time for the start of the Road 2 Marathon. Until then, this is Henry R. Mockingbird, your host with the mustache, signing off. I give the film five stars.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell for new content. If you like to request an old school movie on this show, please do so by requesting it in the comments.